testing this little unit. It's um, I think it's an old cellar cooler unit. They're quite odd. They blow through the condenser instead of um, sucking like you'd normally expect. I think it's something odd with the airflow anyway. Um, anyway, this has been knocked the breaker out and it's been tripping the overloads. And um, I found the, that wire there was stuck to the compressor. And also the underneath of this one here had melted. And that was just on the top of the compressor, so that has got hot enough to melt the plastic around the cables. Um, so we've put the mega on there. Um, so we'll check we've got a good earth. Put the black lead on the copper point and that on the casing. That's showing a dead short. I'm going one of the motor terminals. Dead short. Compressor short to earth. Um, that ties in with what we found because I put my amp probe on the uh, overloads first just to see what they were tripping at and it pulled um, 80 amps. Um, this thing probably doesn't even run at 8. It's probably 4 or 5 amps, I expect. Well, I expect these places only got 100 amp supply anyway. So 80 amps down at 1.5 mil cable. Um, so what are they? Didn't have a fire. But uh, anyway, compressor's failed. The motor's burnt out. That's the cover. It's got levers on either side. It pulls the air in. I think it pulls it in. This has been bodged up by somebody. It shouldn't have a receiver on it. That's off of something else. That's an old Frigidaire receiver. I've soldered um, a bit of quarter-inch copper into a flare connection just down there. It's just made out of bits and pieces. This is meant to be on a beer cellar. Not a cold room. Seems quite um quite a nice little unit really. Contact uh, breakers and isolators. 